I have been trying to grow Perilla, also known as Shiso, for about two years now. I first tried it in a dish at a restaurant and I really liked its unique flavor. And if you don't know what Perilla is, it is a leafy herb in the mint family and it's really popular in Korean cooking. So I decided why not try and grow it at home. So I bought some seeds and it did not go well at all. I could not get any of the seeds to germinate. And I even tried a couple of different brands of seeds. And a couple of my friends who have grown it from seed have said it is a little tricky. So I went to the nursery and I bought two plants because Perilla can come in red and green. So I got one of each color, but the seedlings were really small and they weren't really established and they fizzled out in about two weeks. So I was really bummed and I was, thinking maybe growing perilla just is not for me. But the other day, somebody in my buy nothing group offered up perilla and I thought she was just giving away the seeds, but I'll show you what I've got. Like I said, I thought this person was giving away the seeds. She mentioned her plant was bolting, so I just assumed she was collecting the seeds and giving them out and I figured, hey, some seeds adapted to my growing zone, great. But then I got to her house and I saw this. It looks like she uprooted a few of her plants. So I am going to get them potted up. I don't know where in the ground I would put them, but if they are bolting anyways, then they may not push out new leaf growth for much longer. Perilla can overwinter in some cases, especially in a warmer zone like mine, but it is pretty much considered an annual, but we still have lots of warm days ahead of us. Something has been munching on the leaves, as you can see by the holes, and here is something right here, some kind of caterpillar. I'm going to wash this container out here with just a little soap and I'll rinse this out really good and let it dry out in the sun. And this container I think is just under five gallons, so it should be large enough to allow the plants to keep growing a bit. I do hope to put the perilla in the ground or in a raised bed next year if it overwinters. All right, so this will dry out in the sun and now I will get back to the plants. I'm going to examine the plants and make sure there aren't other pests on here. That's one thing about bringing home organic plants from someone else's garden is that you might also get their pests as well. But besides this caterpillar, I don't think I'm seeing anything on here. So I'm going to get this plant pruned up and just remove a bit of the leaves and hopefully encourage some new growth. And I'll remove some of the bolting parts as well to tell it to keep growing essentially. But because I am transplanting these to a container on what happens to be a super hot day, I will leave some of the bolted parts on the plants for now because if the plants struggle, then I'll just hope they at least fully bolt and I can save some seeds. But if the plants take well to transplanting, then I could be enjoying some perilla leaves before it gets too cold, as well as try to overwinter these plants. All right, time to get these potted up. The plants have some nice roots on them. They look pretty healthy and strong. I have my container full of soil and I probably should have worn gloves, but they are in the garage and I didn't feel like grabbing them. And sometimes it's easier to use hands than a tool. And I'll just go ahead and pop these in here. The plants are a bit top heavy, so I will prune them down a bit more. Because it's more than one plant, I probably should space them out a bit, but oh well, it's hot and I need to get these into soil quickly. Maybe I'll separate them out a bit more if they end up doing okay in a few days. And yeah, the plants are pretty top heavy, so I definitely will prune these down a little bit more. I did have to end up removing quite a bit more and I gave them a little bit of support to help keep them up, but at least the plants aren't as top heavy now and hopefully all of this pruning will promote a lot of new growth. Now I'm going to give this container a nice drink of water and let it sit in the shade since it's going to be triple digits this afternoon and then check on it later. It's the early evening now and it's cooled down and this perilla is looking good. For being transplanted on such a hot day, it's not looking bad. The leaves are still looking good so it looks like it's doing okay but I'll check on them again in the morning. All right, it's the next morning and they are still looking pretty good. I'm noticing some heat damage on some of the leaves, but that's not a huge deal. And I think I'll remove maybe all but one of the bolting parts. Since there are three plants in here, if I leave a bolted part on just one of the plants, I can hopefully collect some seeds as a backup and then let the plants keep growing. So after failing with seeds and getting starts from a nursery that didn't work out, it looks like I will finally have Perilla in my garden.